Hey everybody, welcome to Bike Stuff. My name is Jimmy. This is a bicycle vlog and today we're discussing the five things that cyclists are tired of hearing. So, I took to Reddit and I asked them this. And this is how many comments I got. So, these are the five things that cyclists are tired of hearing and being asked. So, one of the things that I'm commonly asked or is said to me is, why don't you ride on the sidewalk or get out of the road? Um, this is either said to me when I'm at work just kind of going throughout my day with my coworkers or like, why don't you cyclists ride in the sidewalk? And I'm like, well, the thing about it is, is you ride in the road, you walk on the sidewalk. And a lot of people don't understand that or think about that, but bicycles are going really fast. We go 40 miles per hour often, especially when we're trying to get somewhere. So that's not safe to have us on a sidewalk where there's possibly people walking, disabled people trying to walk somewhere or use their mode of transportation at a very slow pace. So they don't need me screaming along, listening to no effects at full volume at 40 miles per hour, encroaching upon their safety in the sidewalk. Um, a lot of times also, this is kind of a side thing that people say is, well, if cyclists want to use the road, they need to follow the laws. Why don't you follow the laws? Well, me personally, I do. I stop at red lights, I stop at stop signs, and I stay to the right unless I need to turn left, where I get into the middle of the road and get in the turning lane. It's not that big of a deal. I do follow laws. I can't really speak for people who don't, because I also see people breaking laws on cars. Why don't you car people follow the laws? So. Um, stop asking cyclists this. This is probably one of the more common things I see on a daily basis yelled at me. So oftentimes when I'm at a place of work, I get asked, do you need a ride? Or why don't you get a car? So no, I don't need a ride. I just rode here for probably 30 minutes maybe even more. So I am perfectly capable of getting from point A to point B and then back to A with my bicycle. I do not need a ride. And why don't I get a car? So a lot of people want to know why don't I get a car? Cars alone cost you insurance monthly. That's about, oh, a hundred dollars. There's a hundred. Let's say you have to pay gas too and put gas into it. Well, gas is another $200 a month. That's $300. So let's say that you're paying a car payment because you want a car that you pay somebody else to work on or lease. That's going to be another at least $300. So let's pretend that's $600 a month. This is not $600 a month. This is next to nothing a month other than the food I consume to get down the road in. So that's why I don't just get a car. I had a car for about a year last year and I found myself lazier, not as much energy. I sat around a lot. So that's why I don't get a car. A lot of cyclists have other reasons, but you know, that's probably something you should stop saying to cyclists. A lot of people want to know how I go so far. And they also comment on how I look like Oh, how do you go so far? I could never do that. Why are you so skinny? You have high metabolism, blah, blah, blah. Well, um, it really takes practice, like anything. Like, I've been riding a bicycle for about 10 years as my primary mode of transportation. And frankly, it just took a lot of practice to get where I'm at. Um, now I can ride forever. And me living far off from places, it's not unusual for me to have to ride 16 miles to get to work or something. So... You know, it's through practice. It's such a weird thing to ask, how do you go that far? Which I get your interest, but usually they want to ask it in more of a belittling way, like, God, what's wrong with you? <laughs> 
So yeah, I eat really healthy. I really practice and I ride my bike on a regular basis and I keep good care of my bike. So that's how I go so far. So one of the more X-rated things that people say or ask to me as a cyclist are probably your balls, if you will. Like, that can't be comfortable, blah, 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 kind of things insinuating maybe about my manhood and how it sits on the seat. So I wear padded shorts. You can look them up on you, like Amazon or something and look up padded cycling shorts. Um, Sometimes I'll wear those depending on how I feel, if things have been affecting me. But a lot of times I just wear jeans and underwear and I'm fine. It doesn't bother, bother me. Maybe I've just got like calluses on my ass that get me down the road. But um, I don't find it discomforting. And, you know, that's how I do it. I know how not to sit on my huevos, if you will. <laughs> Okay, so this is the thing that bothers me the most, and I think it bothers other cyclists the most as well. When people bring up death, and they go, oh, well, you, you're not from around here, but you're going to get killed out there. Or, did you not hear, last week a cyclist got hit by a car, or last month, or last year. And that's just... Don't say that. That makes me angry. That's a really weird thing to say, is to insinuate someone's death is coming. I don't see why people say that, and I would say to stop saying that. And how I respond to that is, I've been riding for 10 years. I know how to stay safe. I know what to do. Pretty good. Um. Don't wish death upon me and don't talk to me about how I'm going to die. <laughs> it's just such an inappropriate thing to say. So um, those are really kind of, I think, the five things that cyclists are tired of hearing. So feel free to like and subscribe and maybe share this on your Facebook. I know this is not so much about riding or working on the bike, but... All right, my camera cut out there, so I wanted to close this out correctly. Um, I just wanted to kind of rank the things that I think we get asked the most and that cyclists find the most frustrating. Um, me, as a bike hipster on a fixed gear, probably need to work on my way of answering things and not be so sarcastic. So I really just want to end, it, end this video by saying, basically, Let's kind of work on the way that we maybe respond to these things that irritate us in a way that is encouraging to get people on bikes and get them to accept us because um, it's us versus cars and cars will often win in these situations. Thank you so much for watching Jimmy's Bike Stuff. Like and subscribe. Share this video with your non-cyclist friends and you have a nice day.